So as a lot of you know, smartwatches are definitely my favorite thing to review on my channel. And for the past month, I've had a very pleasant experience with the Fossil Gen 6 Hybrid. This has been one of my favorite smartwatches that I've ever owned, just in terms of build quality, design, and even the software on it, even though it's just a hybrid watch. So I'm not going to hold you any longer. I'm going to hop into my experience with it. I'm about to be on, been on this mission since I first left home, back up my bags like the I'm grown, told myself to show myself to do no wrongs, like I'm about to be on, been on this mission since I first left home, back up my bags like the I'm grown. All right, so let's go over the basics of this. Um, again, this is the Fossil Gen 6 Hybrid. What makes this a hybrid smartwatch is that it has the body of an analog style watch while it has all of the software of a basic smartwatch. So you can do things such as track your notifications and do your fitness tracking. Um, again, this is the Gen 6 hybrid. It's only Fossil's second gen hybrid watch. They only have one hybrid watch before this. They call it the Gen 6 hybrid because Fossil released the Fossil Gen 6 right before this. The Fossil Gen 6 is Fossil's flagship smartwatch. It runs Google's Wear OS software, so you're able to download different apps from the Google Play Store and things like that. So again, this may be my favorite design or build quality on any smartwatch out there. I just really love how heavy it is. Um, it's just a very heavy um, smartwatch and just the build quality just feels super premium and it looks super premium. It looks like a like an old school classic style watch, which is my preference when it comes to these different types of uh, smartwatches. And um, the difference between this and others is again, it's mostly analog style. So you get your hands that you would get in a classic style watch and they're also part of the user interface which is really cool um just a really unique thing that i've never experienced before and that i fell in love with over this past month and um it's super durable as well um, this is stainless steel on the perimeter and uh yeah it's just super durable um i do have like a scratch in the middle you probably can't even see it on camera it's a slight scratch um because this top part is glass but yeah i haven't had really any main uh bad issues with the build quality and it's by far my favorite design on any smartwatch that i've experienced so far okay so the software and user interface of this watch has been rock solid for me i really love what fossil did with this hybrid style watch um i really just feel like they put a lot of time and effort into using like certain aspects of an analog watch and blending it in with their software so for example um the swatch faces are really really cool and um you could like reset the hands by um flipping your wrist like that so you could see every single like aspect of the watch faces those four different things that are programmable in the app we'll go over the app in a minute but um yeah i just really like um a lot of quality of life things that uh fossil put into this hybrid smartwatch so um again you get a really cool menu you get a lot of different options to choose from um so uh you can go home you check your notifications um notifications and smoothly um instantly as soon as my phone gets it it comes in here um perfectly fine i do get like a constant notification about device pairing or something not sure what that's from but um that's one kind i have about it i, I can't get rid of that um, device pairing notification even though my watch is clearly paired um, you do get Alexa in here which is really cool this phone does have a speaker I mean I'm sorry it does have a microphone but it does not have a speaker so you could speak to Alexa but she doesn't talk back to you you could just talk into Alexa and she would uh, she'll be able to uh, give you the answer to whatever question you have you do have some user interface for music controls um, you could ring your phone from here Let's see if it works Okay, and it's ringing right now stop that okay i don't want to do alexa right now okay so um you could uh, also check your weather it has an um, weather app which is pretty cool um you have a stopwatch of course and you also get um a timer and you get um, workouts. I'll go over fitness in a second and um, the pros and cons of that. Uh, you have a wellness section. That's basically the summary of your workout data and what you do throughout the day. 
you get a ton of different settings to choose from as well um again this is just super user friendly um i really love um what they did with the software and how they use the hands as part of the ui of this watch the app that comes with this watch is also very user friendly um i really like this app a lot it's extremely basic um you have the option to um change like aspects of your watch face so you see here uh, most of these watch faces you have like four different buttons to choose from you can customize these four buttons to do uh different things and you could just like change the watch face in general and change the color or you could like um add a picture in that watch face as well so i thought that was really cool um you could also customize the buttons so right now I have the top button to summon Alexa and I have the bottom button to check my notifications. Uh, here are the other different um, things that you can do. You could uh, ring your phone, you could check the weather, you could do your music control timer, you could look at your wellness dashboard, or you could even uh, do the workouts uh, from those buttons. So yeah, it's a really user-friendly app and you could view like all of the fitness data that you do and your recent workout. And speaking of fitness, um, the fitness data has been pretty accurate. It's very similar to what you would get on like a regular Fossil watch, such as the Fossil Gen 5 or Gen 6. Um, not the best in the world, but um, it is pretty accurate. Um, this is something that Fossil works on every year. So um, it's a pretty refined um, uh, fitness tracking. Um, one thing I didn't like, um, I don't feel like looking for that workout right now but um i tracked a workout uh for hiking and um it didn't like tr uh, track the elevation which is something that um i personally like hold important i want to know um how high i am going like on my hike and that's something that is not tracked on the hiking workout mode um on this watch specifically um i'm not sure if the other fossil watches um like give you the same information but if you use something like google fit or uh, samsung health to track your fitness it will definitely give you um elevation so um i think um just like based on that i'm pretty sure like some of these workout modes will be scaled down compared to other like more professional type uh fitness trackers so i did want to take a portion of this video and um talk about alexa because i think that's very important to have um on um um, pretty much any smartwatch i personally believe every smartwatch or fitness tracker should have some sort of voice assistant because it's extremely useful and uh, this one does come with alexa so i'm just going to demonstrate um, the performance of alexa how fast it is and um, how accurate the uh, microphone is on this watch so i'm just going to press this button who are the detroit pistons She's thinking and that was pretty fast again this is it will only give you text because this does not have a speaker so you can't talk on the phone on this watch either uh, let's do it one more time what is YouTube you see it only takes a few seconds YouTube is a free video sharing site on the internet Another thing I wanted to cover on this watch is gestures. Uh, this watch has two main gestures, which I think are really useful. Um, so the first gesture, um, if you double tap, you can enable the backlight. So it doesn't work all the time. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty hard to do it. You just gotta tap really hard. But um, yeah, th uh, there is a backlight just in case you're in a dark environment or if you're in an environment that's too bright, um, you can touch that backlight to get better visibility of your screen. And the other gesture is the flick uh, gesture. When you flip your wrist, um, the hands like reset. So if you're trying to like look at one of these pieces of data right here, so right here, um, as you can see, the date is covered up by a hand. So when I flick it, you can see the hands move and they'll move out the way and back to the regular position. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, again, I've had a very good experience with the Fossil Gen 6 Hybrid. Um, it's one of my favorite smartwatches, if not my favorite, that I've experienced like over the past few years, just mainly because of um, just how user-friendly it is. The software on it is great for a hybrid watch and it handles all of the essentials. And uh, one thing that I didn't cover, battery life the battery life on this will last up to two weeks which blows most other watches out of the water 
Um, the brand new Galaxy Watch 5 Pro will last you around three days. The Apple Watch lasts you around one day. The Amazfit usually lasts you around 10 days. This is advertised as two weeks battery life and it hits two weeks every time for me. I could literally take this on vacation and will not have to charge it the entire trip. So that's something that I forgot to cover. I'm just adding that in the summary. So yeah, overall, great experience with this watch. Um, my favorite looking watch by far. Um, the software on it is great. Again, um, fitness tracking is pretty accurate. I only had an issue with the hiking measurements. And yeah, um, not a lot of issues with this. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave in the comments and I'll get back with you guys. So thanks for watching this video.